Hey guys, welcome to yet another video on Kali Linux. And this tutorial, we are going to cover up on how to upgrade Kali Linux distribution from an older version to newer version. And we are also going to discuss about different issues faced while not upgrading Kali Linux uh, to the latest uh, repo and different repositories and links from where we can download uh, Kali upgrades and it's also we're going to talk about pros and cons of not having Kali Linux upgraded or updated uh, you know every uh, time there's a new update available that's all because uh, it's just like Windows operating system Kali also uh, has uh, bugs it also has enhancements so every time you keep your operating system updated or upgraded uh, it keeps your operating system healthy so the first one uh, is that open a command prompt on your Kali Linux uh, I mean a terminal to be honest in Kali Linux uh, so the first command which we're going to use is to check what is the current version of Kali Linux on our machine so the command will be uh, cat space slash etc slash os hyphen release Right, this is a command when you hit this command you will actually get the current version of Kali Linux which you're using so the version is 2019.4 so this is the recent version because I did a complete uh, overhauling of Kali Linux by upgrading the complete repository and it's uh, up to date till now so uh, but still if you are running any older version of Kali Linux and you want to upgrade to the current version which is 2019.4 you may be able to do it uh, very easily so that is exactly what we're going to cover in this tutorial so first that we have uh, noted the version of Kali Linux where you can actually compare this on the Kali website and post that you can plan for upgrading uh, to a new version or upgrading the existing version to a new version so uh, let's do one thing now let's clear this screen so uh, and then the first thing which you have to do is uh, go for a complete overall upgrade of Kali Linux which will bring in all the enhancements which have which is available in the repositories uh, of Kali apt hyphen so I'll just paste the command. This is very simple for me. apt hyphen get update. So uh, let me stop this. And this is a command which you're going to use apt hyphen get then space update, then two end symbols, and then followed by apt hyphen get hyphen y full upgrade. So this full upgrade will take you directly to the Kali repository and then it will let you upgrade the complete operating system to the newest level available in the repository so this is the command which will be will be using it and I'll I'll definitely have this command uh, all the commands which I have I'm going to uh, you know use in this tutorial uh, I'll mention them in the comment section so that a description section where you can eventually go and have a look at yourself and you can copy paste and use them for uh, you know for or when you try to upgrade your Kali Linux operating system so now that being said uh, let's first check where exactly the Kali repository is and what is the link I'll definitely give the Kali repository uh, you know links in the in the description but then uh, to check or find where it is you can uh, use your Kali Linux uh, or just open a term type nano dc space Okay, this is a command nano space etc slash apt slash sources list so you need to mention one s sometimes we just, just type source but it's not source it's sources dot list 
right so the nano is the editor which we use to uh, edit the file so there's an error so let me exit this okay, let me try this again it says the path doesn't exist so probably my command is directory is rerouted just uh, that we need to bring it back let's go have a check directly on the directories so open folder so let me show you where exactly you will get this so you have to go to the file system etc folder and inside etc is the apt folder click on apt folder and then you will have different folders here source list example but then this is the source source.list list so this is exactly the file we need to access so let's try this on the linux okay source.list right so this is the file you need to access so etc apt source.list and uh, in the source you'll already have the official Debian uh, source this is the source from where currently uh, the repository has been fetched because this is one thing which is not hashed so which means like we are, we are pushing and pulling uh, you know the uh, updates from this particular repository alright so ensure this is available and also I will uh, on the description I'll put other links uh, the Kali Linux repository links which also can be uh, you know used over here so once you make sure that this is available say in case if uh, you want to make any changes for an example if you find the file be like this it means like it's not going to fetch uh, the uh, updates from any repo so you just need to remove the hash over here so that it can start fetching uh, you know data from the repo so mentioned over here so now you have to save this to save this uh, file you have to use uh, con control O write out this is the option so write out is the option if you're using Windows it's going to be control O so I'll just need to say control O so now you need to save this you need to hit enter to save this uh, list and then wrote 14 lines so this message comes up now you can exit exit is this control X so control X for exit so let me clear everything so now that I put the repository link uh, on the uh, source file all I have to do now is to upgrade the Kali Linux to upgrade all we need to do now is to type the upgrade command which is uh, apt hyphen get space update and bison symbol and then apt hyphen get hyphen y full upgrade so when I do a full upgrade what my operating system is going to do is it's going to search through the de the uh, repository the one which you mentioned it's going to search through and find out all the upgrades and updates available for this operating system and this is one touch upgrade which means like it's not just the up upgrade for the operating system the entire operating system and the related files uh, files in a sense applications will get upgraded into anything new available so this is the first and foremost thing which you have to do post installation of Kali Linux so if you want to uh, you know check how to install Kali Linux on a VMware I've already made a tutorial for that you guys can visit that uh, tutorial and the link will be provided in the description and once you are done with the installation the first thing you have to do on a Linux box, Kali Linux box is that you have to upgrade the complete repo because when the Linux is uh, packed you never know it it would have been packed uh, probably say uh, four or five months back and once you download the pack that is image file or 
uh, even a vm image or a virtual box image it is not completely upgraded or updated so all you need to do is just go ahead and do a complete upgrade of the kali linux so that you get all the maximum upgrades available and depending on your internet connectivity speed the upgrades and updates also will take its own time so we need to hold on for some more time to get this done So the upgrade is almost coming to an end. So uh, it's almost 99 percent. And once this is 100 percent, uh, the upgrade is complete. Then we are good to go with a small reboot. Uh, it's just like Windows; you have to reboot your operating system. Uh, probably Windows is shifting from that scenario of rebooting to a non-reboot sequence scenario. But then for uh, Kali to oh, you know intake all the packages and you know all the changes we definitely have to reboot Kali Linux once post the upgrade is completed successfully so we'll just wait for the upgrade to complete successfully and uh, we'll reboot the Kali operating system once So uh, there's a new Wireshark uh, upgrade which has come with uh, you know this version of uh, Kali Linux operating system. So should non-super user be able to capture the packet? So if if you want the users also to use Wireshark on the Kali Linux, you can say yes. But if you want only the root that is the only user, the super user to use it, then w you would go ahead and say no. So this this is what happens when when you upgrade. So whenever there's a new application up, updates and upgrades available, it automatically deploys itself uh, on the machine. So uh, the same way we have uh, even other tools uh, post uh, this, you'll you'll find other tools also getting upgraded if available in the repository. So uh, let's wait for this to be unpacked and uh, finished. So um, the update's over and uh, it's all done. So all you need to do now is to reboot the Kali Linux box. So the command is reboot now. Sometimes even shutdown hyphen R also works for reboot. Let's try that once. Right, so this is hyphen C is to cancel the sh you know a restart. So R is the restart, S is for shutdown, and C for cancellation. Or you can also do reboot hyphen now. So I I did shutdown hyphen R, but I didn't say now. So if I say now, it will do a restart immediate. Right, so every time you do a shutdown you need to say now so that immediately or else it goes for a scheduling so the machine has to come back uh, it's pretty much quick uh, coming back into the grub so the machine is back to the grub and uh, we've logged in so now you can just go back uh, and uh, open a terminal on the machine and if you have used a older version of Kali Linux it's obvious that uh, you'll find a upgraded version of Kali Linux now uh, when you uh, probe the 
machine for the current version let's do that now so all you need to do is um, I already have the command loaded so eat cat etc os release so this is a command so now you can see the version has completely changed it was 2019 uh, 0.4 and now my Kali has upgraded to 2020.1 so now what we have done is from 2019.4 version we have upgraded our Kali Linux box to 2020.1 version so this is the uh, end of the video so I hope you guys liked it please do uh, give a like and subscribe to Rogue World channel and also uh, please watch out for the descriptions I'll give you all, give all these commands and the links in the description so that you guys can use them to get your Kali box upgraded. So that's all from me today and now uh, till the next video uh, it's bye from Rogue Vault.